Welcome everyone to the campus of the University of St. Francis here in Fort Wayne, Indiana for a Crossroads League doubleheader for the Edgerly. Big hack at it. Kyle McKay gets his first strikeout of the game as the base is loaded. This ball driven deep into right center field. Tyler Gregory on his horse and he cannot get to it. That's a grand slam. Brett Metcalf with his first home run of the season. Gets him on the inside corner for out number three. Smokes this ball in the left center field in the gap. It's picked up by number 27, Mormon, as Burke a one out double here. This ball's hitting over the head of the center fielder, Tom Green. Brooks gonna come home to score. Rydell heading for a three, and he's got a stand-up triple, RBI triple by Jared Rydell. Brings home Adam Brooks. Two hits in the fourth, including a triple and a double. Gregory is off, and he's gone. That ball gets into center field. Rydell's gonna score on the double steal as Gregory takes third. First pitch swung on and popped up. Shortstop number 17, Baylor underneath it. And he cannot make the catch. He wears number seven. Smokes that ball right down the left field line. That's gonna score Pulver. Deggett's heads on his way to second base. So an error by Mormon there allows Deggett to get to second. Runner is off and called third strike. So Baylor goes down looking for out number three. So lead off walk to Tyler Gregory. Ball hit right into the gap. Gregory is going to hold up at second. Squares around to bunt. Picked up by Smith. Smith looked at Gregory at third. Nobody covering. On deck is number 12, Clay Moss. As Daggett draws the walk and coming home to score will be Tyler Gregory. Gets this ball right up the gut. Nice stop there by Taylor Gibson, the shortstop. Got the pinch runner, Ian Clay, at second. Nonetheless, another run comes home as Kyle McKay scores the second run of the game for the Cougars. Runners off. Bunt was laid down right down the first base line. Beautiful, sac beautiful sacrifice there. Scores Trevor Pulver. That ball drilled into left field. Turning around is Borman at the fence. Ball short hops the fence. Clay Moss and David Yoga come home to score. So a two RBI double by Adam Brooke. And the Cougars go up five to one here in the bottom of the second. Rydell draws the walk. Swings at the first pitch and drills this ball into right field and it is gone. Big time shot there by Kyle McKay. A two run dinger gave St. Francis the seven to two lead for McKay. That is his second home run of the season and his 27th and 28th RBI. Big time blast there by Kyle McKay. That was a blast. That was... Kyle McKay had a home run against Bethel as well, but I mean the wind was just crazy blowing out to right field in that game. Back in the second. Big second inning where the Cougars put up five runs. Palmer takes second base there on the 
Dunks this ball into right field, right down the right field line. Metcalf comes up with it, coming home to score is Trevor Pulver on the RBI single by Clay Moss. Lefty, six foot nine, one ninety five. Yoder knocks this ball into left field, making a diving attempt at it. Was Mormon could not come up with this. A Yoder with a leadoff double. Does lay down the bottom the third pitch, picked up by Schumann. And Book is safe at first, showing off the wheels. Right down, draws the walk. So we have bases loaded for Tyler Gregory. Swings on it. Drives it into center field. Yoder's going to come home to score. Book gets waved in. Relay throw is cut off. So a two RBI single by Tyler Gregory. Swung on. Popped up high. And Metcalf cannot get to it. So runners will advance on the single by McKay. ball in the dirt. Schumann did a good job of making sure it didn't get behind him. Nonetheless, Rydell comes home to score on the wild pitch. Gregory now at third. McKay at second. Deggett's two hopper over to Edgerly for out number two. Scoring on the play was Tyler Gregory. Kyle McKay now at second. Another one hit right at David Yoder. With the diving snag. Beautiful catch there by number 23 from his center field position. For out number two. We've got winning pitcher in game two. Well, so pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was a good outing. Uh, you know, we struggled in the first game a little bit, so it was nice to uh, come out and uh, play well defensively. You know, sometimes your pitcher is only as good as your defense is. So, you know, we played really solid defense. I got ahead on a, uh, a couple of batters and was able to throw first pitch strikes for the majority of the game. That really helped me out. That's a big key, uh, your stat line today. Uh, let's see here. I had three strikeouts, three walks, just two earned run, five hits. So, so pretty good outing. Always helps to get some run support, too, out there, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it it is. We we hit the ball really well today, and you know, like you said, I had, I couldn't get the three hole out for some reason. You no, know, I walked the uh, eight hole a couple of times, so that kind of got me behind in, in one of those innings, and I wanted to give up a run. But then I forgot about the huge play that uh, Tom had at home plate when they had bases loaded and two outs, or and uh, on the pass ball, Tom hustled back and gave me a perfect throw. That was, that was a big play. That was a huge play. I remember you guys coming. You were really excited about that, and uh, then it carried over when the guys got up to bat. So absolutely, yeah. After that, we were able to get a. I felt like we had a couple of long innings out uh, defensively. I felt like you know I was throwing 20, 25 pitches an inning, and uh, they were coming out and getting quick three outs. So that kind of um, was nice to get that play. And then kind of after that, the momentum really shifted our way, and we were able to uh, pick up the win. All right. Well, thanks a lot, right, Wes. Uh, good luck down at uh, Marion on Tuesday. Here. Kyle had a big second game here. He was three for four at the plate. Uh, big two-run home run, scored two runs, and uh, drove in two runs. Kyle, tell us about the, the home run. Well, I saw a belt high fastball inside, the one I like, and put a good swing on it. Get the head of the bat out there, and away yeah. she goes. Yeah, I just got the barrel to it, fat part of the bat on it, see what happened. A good day, good second game for you guys. I know you were frustrated in game one, so... Kind of took a took it out on them at the plate yeah. in game two, didn't you? Yeah, it was frustrating, but I mean, if we could put a full day together, we'd be good. But once that first game was over, I knew just had to let it go and do what I could to help the team in the second game. Talk about the mentality you and the team is looking for here as we head down the stretch here last week before uh, the tournament starts next week after this. Uh, I mean, we've had a really up and down season. We haven't been consistent and. Just putting the full game together, playing defense, hitting, and pitching in the same game like we did the last one, will get us far in the tournament. Hopefully, we just just trying to get hot heading into the tournament and start playing a little better baseball. 
All right, Kyle. Well, thanks a lot. Congratulations on game game two, and uh, better days ahead as far as pitching goes. We hope after game one. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Roberts. We got Coach Roberts here after a game two win. Uh, thoughts on on today's uh, two games, Coach? Well, it was nice that we came back and won won game two and hit the ball a little better. But uh, we just got to we got to start catching the ball better than what we did in game one. We that's been a common theme, unfortunately, for us is not being able to catch the ball consistently. We had some defenses laps, defensive lapses today, but a big defensive play in game two may have may have turned the tide for us. That play where Tommy Deggett's raced back, got that ball, got a perfect throw to Wes, and we get the guy out at home plate. Talk yeah. about that. Yeah, that's a big play. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's a kind of hustle play that uh, we hadn't been getting, unfortunately. We've had uh, too many guys that... Uh, you know, haven't quite given that little extra sometimes, and Tommy did today, and it was made a big difference. Okay, well, that's Coach Greg Roberts' thoughts on this afternoon's uh, games here at Cougar Field.